This is a tin type. This is the color scan. I have uh, converted it and cropped it. Converted it to a grayscale type appearance and cropped it. I think he's still off center a little bit, but that's something we can fix later. For now, we got to start cleaning it up. The thing about tin types is, <laughs> the older they get, the darker they get, as opposed to prints, which generally just get lighter. Or now we're going to start on the face, basically the head. In this photo, I want to restore the head and the face first. I'm, I'm going to try that. And then we can go on and get the rest of the body and the clothing. Uh, if I throw on a dust and scratches filter like I'm, I'm doing here, you see I've gotten rid of most of the, the uh, cracks in, in the picture and most of the spots. And of course we're losing detail. But the detail aside, you have uh, dark marks here. You have marks that kind of make him appear like he's got been wiped with charcoal or something like that. These kind of things we want to clean up as well as some of the big spots. So we're going to do what I call head preparation. I'm going to hit cancel. And we're going to start to prepare the rest of the, the head here for uh, the restoration. I'm going to choose a clone stamp tool. Get a soft edge brushed. It's a little too big. Okay. There, click. We got to the top of the hill, hill number one. Now we got to get hill number two, and it's the suit. I'm going to throw on that dust and scratches filter. First of all, we have to make the appropriate selection. And next, I'm going to subtract the neck and the collar selections from everything else. When you're using Adobe Photoshop Elements, it's almost like using the full version of Photoshop. But some of the commands don't exist. You can do everything that I showed you in the tutorial with Photoshop Elements, but you're going to have to approach it slightly different. 